meet my friends, Adam Bishop and Tom Stoltman uh, here, who, are, who just happen to be two of the strongest men in the world. Guys, very good to see you. Good to be here. Well, yeah, how are you, how you feeling? You coping with the heat OK? Yeah, it's very uh, yeah. warm down here and not yeah. used to up in Scotland, but, yeah, it's good. Yeah, it's very nice of you to drag us into the studio this morning. Yes. Thank yeah, you very welcome. much. <laughs> yeah, so what would that have been... Is that easy for you, us two of us in a mini? That, that was nothing for us, yeah. Piece I mean, of cake. We used to... Uh, trains, planes, automobiles yeah. for pulling vehicles, so, yeah. But, you know, a bit I've, heavier. I've, got to, I've got to ask you, Adam, why? <laughs> well, you know, some people are great footballers, uh, some people are really fast sprinters, but... You know, for us, kind of strength came naturally, so, yeah, it's the Did it come naturally? Did you wake up, like, at sort of seven years of age and realise you could lift your chair, your cot, or whatever the heck that would be? <laughs> Not exactly, but, you know, I, I used to play rugby uh, and I found that, you know, I was uh, very strong in the gym, stronger than some of the older players. Yeah. Uh, so, yeah, it kind of just developed from there and fell into the sport. And what Tom... I, what I like about you, do you just want to say, Tom, um, you guys are very evenly pr proportioned, and I like that. <laughs> There's nothing overly freaky, if you want me to say about you. you know, you're big and strong from your feet right up to the, the top of your head. Is that, well, is that deliberate? Is that the way you were born? <laughs> it was the way I was born, you know, the good genetics. No, I mean, we work from, you know, like you said, feet to our uh, head, and we make sure everything's kind of covered, squats for legs, back deadlifts, shoulders, so we keep everything kind of as strong as our as we can be, and we just fill out with all the food we eat. So, yeah. And can I just say congratulations, Tom Stoltman, because he is the strongest man in the world 2021. Oh, well done to you. Yes. Well done to you. Which is amazing. Mm -hmm. um, I know the two of you are quite competitive because you've both been Britain's strongest man, haven't you? And you're... No, I've been second in Britain. Oh, you've been He's second. the one that's won. He's the, won. the last, last time I beat him was Britain's, yeah. Britain. It's been a while. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so, Tom, tell us, so the world's strongest man, when was the event held? What did you have to do? What were your competitors is like? Yeah, so it was about a month ago in Sacramento in, in uh, California. Uh, it was like 45 degree heat, so it was very, very kind of warm for the, especially for the UK guys. 25 guys went over from all over the world. Uh, five groups of five athletes, and then it's the top ten that go through to the final on the Saturday. And it's and like Sunday. five days or something, isn't it? Yeah, five, six yeah. days. It's over, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. Five, and so, six, were five. you confident as you were going through? You thinking I could get this? I'm going to get this. Yeah, well, well strong as man, it suits me good. As the days go on, I get better and better, and kind of uh, find my feet in the competition. So I got past the qualifiers. Had a rest day on the Friday and then on the weekend I kind of got my head into it and it was well, showtime. You've had a big Brilliant. enough rest this morning, right? <laughs> it's been a while since you pulled us in the mini. Um, just, just describe to us here, Adam, what's in, what's in front of you here? What's this? So this is just a dumbbell. It's just a little bit bigger than you're probably used to. Don't no, you it's like not just gym. a dumbbell. <laughs> we know what a normal dumbbell looks like. What that looks like to huge oil cans. Yeah, well, you know, nothing's easy and strong, man. Everyone likes a spectacle, so this is uh, the kind of thing we'd be lifting. No. Uh, right. for us in the dumbbell. It's like something it? attached to the front of a steamroller, yeah. darling. It's not like oil <laughs> well, no, cans No, I meant all. heavy... Now, here is the biggest cannonball I have ever seen, uh, basically. What is this this way, Tom? So this is an atlas stone. This weighs about 130 kilograms. So this is usually our second or third uh, atlas stone we lift onto our platform in a competition. Dear goodness me. And so these are equal, equal weights, are they? No, no, this dumbbell at the moment is sitting around kind of 80, 85 kilos. And Tom's been modest here. I mean, that's a 130 kilo stone, which is nothing for him. He actually holds the world record at over 280 kilos. kilos. Well, we're going to watch. We're going to sit back here in awe. Uh, please don't do your back like me or anything <laughs> I just, else. I hope you've warmed can up I well. Can I just ask, things oh. like 85 kilos means nothing to me. So, yeah. in comparison to something I would know... It's, it's like pressing a, a, a normal-sized man or a, a man who goes and trains at the gym over your head. Like, like a man like, like me. Heavy man, man like, like you, man like me. Yeah. 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 So, lifting right. him up. That's it, yeah. Okay. So that goes above your head. And the stones, you know, we, we get up above, above 200 100, kilos on the stones, which is... Like... Yeah. Uh -huh. 440 pounds. Uh -huh. as heavy as me. <laughs> so it's like me lifting you yeah, up. Look, let's, <laughs> let's, let's see this and then we'll talk about why you're both in town at Off the moment. You, Tom, right. Go first, Are you ready? Good luck. Come on, Tom. Oh, my word. Oh, my oh. word. Easy work. Watch the floor. Oh. Thank you. Incredible. <laughs> Absolutely incredible. Didn't take anything out of you at all. <laughs> right, Adam. Follow that. Oh. Oh, oh he's going up. Oh. Wow. Here we go, here we go. <laughs> no, I could just see you. You were frightened in case he was going yes, to drop that. Yes, I was, because I'm right here. I put it down very there. carefully. I looked off the floor in the studio, yeah. you know. Yeah. <laughs> so, so, Adam, why are you guys in town? Well, we've actually got a competition at the weekend at the uh, Royal Albert Hall of all places. So, Royal Albert Hall? Yeah, Strongman's finally going home. <laughs> uh, it used to have competitions back in the Victorian days of Strongman, you know, the old funny moustaches yeah. and yeah. all these lifting challenges and... 
we're finally back. And uh, yeah, Royal Albert Hall this Saturday. Uh, and the guys have modernised it. So, you know, we've got this grand building, but tickets are still available and we're even doing a live stream this year. So people at home can watch us, watch us do Brilliant. great Oh, things. right, right. Um, you can all be socially distanced. You can tune in. Exactly. And see, how do you do that? Do you know how to do uh, that? Find the Giants Live Facebook page. You can yeah. they're put it on Facebook. I don't yeah. know how it works, but they'll, they'll work it out. No, it'll be great. <laughs> we uh, well, we're well, talking about TV. Giants. <laughs> Tom, how, what, how tall are you? So I'm six foot eight. Six foot eight. And you're from Invergordon. Invergordon, yeah. Uh, do you toss the caber? I've never tossed the cable in my life, which is a kind of <laughs> weird thing, because up there is the Highland Games, isn't it? It's, yeah. No, I've never tossed the cable in my yeah. life. Can I just <laughs> ask you, what's your, your a daily routine? Like, you know, calories, how do you train? Is it every day? Yeah, so my routine is I train five days a week. Uh, Monday to Thursday is kind of like the gym kind of stuff, and then Fridays where you play with this kind of... Yeah. all the specialist equipment. Yeah. And I eat maybe up to 10,000 calories a day. So breakfast is usually 10 eggs to start ten with. 10 eggs for yeah. breakfast? <laughs> yeah, so oh. need a lot of chickens where I live. And then just a lot of protein, red meats, you know, rice, pasta, all that kind of uh, so carbs. how important, and... Adam, is that, is the diet? It's, it's the toughest part of our sport, you know. I'm, I'm not supposed to be this weight, you know. All my family are quite kind of slim. You know, I'm definitely above where I should be, so... Yeah, the amount of food we have to put away is a huge, huge amount. And are there times when you go, I'm not really hungry? Oh, but God, you know God you yeah. I mean, eat. my last couple of meals are force fed. I'm sitting there and <laughs> my girlfriend Amy's kind of finished eating. She's clearing away and I'm still there trying to put, <laughs> put down some steak and some rice and stuff like that. But, so. the, but there is a message, Tom. I mean, you know, food can be a poison or a medicine and food is feeding your body, isn't it? It's the right fuel. Yeah, yeah 100%. We need uh, fuel to kind of lift us. Uh, weights we're lifting, so yeah, we use it as fuel. And like Adam said, we don't like eating it, but we have to eat it. So now, what are you going to lift next? We had our hammers there. Tell us what's in. What, what, what constitutes these hammers? I mean, what, what, how heavy are they, or are so, they? Do so you the actually throw these in competition? No, it's so unfortunate. I'd love. We'd love to throw them, but I think they're worried about breaking them. But no, they're, these are uh, for the front hold. So we, like we were doing just there when you saw yeah. us, we're holding it straight out in front with yeah. straight arms. Yeah. And it's a pain event, you know, you're trying to hold it for as long as possible. As long as How long would as longest? long as possible? So thing? I think the world record is uh, Mr minute. Eddie Hall, who's a, a, a former uh, guest on the show. He still holds it just over a minute long, uh, which is a long, long time to be holding 30 kilos out in front of you. Yeah. Now, I notice you, you're both perspiring there yeah. because it looked effortless what you did. Can't but obviously, why. after you put it down, your body's still sort of sure. working at what it actually did. Yeah, 100%. You're... You, wait, you put it down 10 seconds later, you're still in shock. It's, everything's kind of pumped, lactic acid going through your body. So, yeah, it's... But, but Tom, Tom, Tom why, do, why do you do this? What, just, just, just... <laughs> I mean, you could have had a nice job behind a desk or something. <laughs> I mean, I do, I love it. You know, it's, it's different than just going to the gym. You know, it's not just like lifting dumbbells and barbells. You're getting to play with kind of things that a lot of people don't get to do. And it's like superhuman. You know, you watch it on TV and they're like... Well, how's this guy doing that? So yeah, I just love it because it's fun and it is superhuman and it is extraordinary to watch. Yeah. You know, pushing trains and mm. pulling planes. And... I think that's the appeal of it. It's just comical. You know, it's kind of yeah. superheroes in real life. We go to the shows. It's a big family event. There's kids there who think we're superheroes <laughs> and they want to see us lift daft things and run with cars on our backs yeah. and stuff like that. And it's a, it's a really nice atmosphere for people to see. Well, look to finish, and we didn't mention this to her, but. You're both going to lift no, Ruth. No, you're not. Um, they are, darling. <laughs> they are. <laughs> Very good. One, and one, one hand. <laughs> Take two strong men to yeah. me, I tell mm -hmm. you. It that was, was like when I mean, you're in Strictly. You would have needed to dance <laughs> with those two, wouldn't you? I know, I could never... I said to Anton, don't even think about lifting me. It's not happening. But if I'd have had those two... Yeah, amazing. Me everywhere. Um, Maybe so the dancing would have been worse, <laughs> though. Yeah. The 24th of July is what? Is that Saturday night? Saturday night. Yeah. Yeah. Saturday Royal night. Albert Royal Albert Hall. The Strongman Classic. Uh, tickets available online. It'll also be streamed on Facebook, um, as, as Adam said there, uh, live along with a highlights broadcast, which will then follow on Channel 5. So, guys, good luck. Yeah, thanks have for, a great night. Thank you very much. Thanks yeah, for thanks being so you. good today and seeing everything that you do. And, and congratulations, uh, we'll be tuned Tom. In. Thank you very Strongest much. Strongest man Cheers. in the thanks. world. Very good, Amazing. very good.